It's a question we've been trying to help dozens of Valley families answer for years since this body donation business was raided. What happened to their loved ones after being donated to science? Tonight, court documents just unsealed reveal exactly what a Detroit body broker was doing with cadavers he got from Phoenix. ABC 15's Nohei Lani Graff, part of our A team, covering the story since we broke it two years ago. And Nohei, this is obviously a big piece to the puzzle. You know, Steve, this brings it full circle. I was here at Biological Resource Center, now an empty building. When the feds first showed up, they put tape across these doors. You might remember they set up all of their forensic tents in this parking lot. With tonight's new indictment, two more people being held accountable. And to Valley families, that is critical. The good will of science. Creating a legacy. That's what Troy Hart believed he was doing when he donated his grandmother's body, Evelina Shipman. Discoveries of uh, sickness and uh, disease, maybe come up with a cure. And eventually his mother's, Eva Ruman, to Biological Resource Center. Two weeks later, the news came on, raided by the FBI. Ever since, he's looked at their ashes and wondered. We don't know what's in here, and we really don't know what's in here. We know now the owner of BRC, Steve Gore, sold bodies and body parts to Art and Elizabeth Rathburn in Michigan. It's an unusual scheme, and one that certainly people don't think about or even imagine. Court documents describe a chop shop in the Rathburn's Detroit warehouse. Chainsaws cut up the bodies, heads stacked in freezers, never embalmed. Heartbreaking to know that your loved one ended up being cut up like this. The feds say the couple purposefully bought diseased bodies with HIV, hepatitis, because they're cheaper, then sold them as new for a huge profit to doctors and dentists for training. This is not sending a, a material object down the road. This is real heart and soul loving, caring individuals that had a life. Their arrests, a small light in what's been a very dark two years for families like Harps. Tragedy that's never resolved and it just keeps going on and deeper and deeper. It's not what we signed on for. Now, Harp has joined the civil suit against Steve Gore. Gore cut a deal with the Fed, so he'll serve a year in prison, maybe less. Harp says he'll be sick if the Rathburns get off as easy. They are facing a 20 year prison sentence. Back yeah, I to can you. imagine what it must be like to process this news and get this information. I know we'll continue to follow this case. Thanks, Nohei.